So I have QB2, which is just behind me, just there. And that is running all the transformation code and also the the Arvis code that we're looking at right now. And on the original Raspberry Pi, if I go back over to, to that one, which is which is here. This is just running the RP LiDAR scan and that's it. As you can see here, it's not using very much CPU at all. It's barely using 10% there. And if I go back over to, to the other one that's doing all the work, this one is actually running the, the LiDAR. And you can see here, it's much more stable. This is what I was actually going for. So if I hold up this box here, for example, and I put this and I move this around, hopefully you can see there in the middle of the screen, just here, you can see there, that's responding. If I move this far away, if I move this forward, we can see that that's tracking. It's tracking as it should. And this is me here. You can see this. I wave my hands. I'm this sort of collection of little bits here, just like so. There's my hands creating sort of a, a cupping shape like that. And then if I move back, you can see then if I move around in my chair, you can see me spinning around. I'm just this object here. So you can see there's a wall there. Maybe if I hold this rub up a bit and I move around a bit, you can now see the shape of the room. So if I hold it still, like so, you can even see the, the undulations there of the curtain. And you can see that wall there, that wall, and then this wall here, like so. So there we go, let me just put that back down. Let's just move that so we get a bit better view. There we go. So yeah, so what I've done is essentially just split the tasks between the two different uh, Raspberry Pi computers and that seems to have enough compute power between the two of them to be able to do what we need to do. So there's the, uh, we're on the top down there. We can also go back to the orbit view if we wish. We zoom, oops, zoom in on this. We can just tilt that ever so slightly like so. And again, if I just hold that up, high up so you can see the shape of the room a bit better there we go there we go we can see the room sort of top down or from the side and the next step is of course to make this into a map so that um, we can retain that information and we can see where the robot is within the map but that's for a future video so just wanted to pop on real quick show you that this actually does work <laughs> and then uh, we can, we can continue our ROS journey next time. So thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.